Hello and welcome to a new studio vlog. In this vlog we'll go through a lot of her things as you have seen on my pretty thumbnail. I took a trip to Scotland so hang about if you want to learn more about that. Also we're going to make uh, a new colour and make one that I haven't made in quite some time so. Hi so I'm back. Today it is a Tuesday morning and it's sunny which is kind of lovely. I think I ended the last vlog saying that I felt like I needed a break, which I did. So I, uh, I took a trip to Scotland, which was quite amazing. Um, I met up with Jen from the Colour Cave. I was like, I'm coming over. Yeah, having a little bit of a hard time, like, sort of getting back into routine but we're working on it also um i'm going to start by making paint but i cannot wear my tents because <laughs> my skin like we have had enough so i have lovely rashes on my back where i put the plates um uh, well not plates like the stickers so i can't wear the tents right now i need to let that heal lovely so i'll just be mindful with what I'm doing and not overdoing it. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to make some paint.
Okay, so I just need to. Yes. Uh, in my previous vlog, I mentioned that I was like, I think I need a little bit of a break. So I decided to actually take a break and leave the country, which was quite amazing. Um, <laughs> it was the first time I, I think I said it was like, like nine years since I left the country. And by that, my last trip was to Norway and uh, <laughs> for work. And um, the last time I had flown on an airplane was like 15 years ago. So I had a really, it was really fun. I was a little bit nervous because I do not like flying. Um, so that was an experience. Uh, <laughs> also, uh, nervous flying. Uh, and then I booked my tickets on Ryanair because they're so cheap. Uh, the comfort level on the plane was like, uh, it was like a, a, a bad bus ride, sort of. But you know what? Didn't really matter. I flew to Scotland. It didn't really take that long. So it was all fine. Once in Scotland, I met with Jem from the Colour Cave and I had a really great time. Like they say over there, like um, a change is as good as a rest, and I, I really agree. I think it really is. Um, we did a lot of things. She had a lot of stuff like booked, well, not like booked, book, but you know, like stuff she she thought we would enjoy, which I did. And um, we went uh, looking at the different farms and uh, uh, tried a few different um, restaurants and. Uh, we visited a castle. Obviously, if you're in Scotland, you need to visit the castle, which was uh, amazing. <laughs> uh, I mean, I have visited quite a few castles here in Sweden, but um, not many have been so richly decorated or preserved, I should say. So it was really fun to see um, all the stuff that the family on the Glam's castle had sort of gathered throughout the years. Maybe some things I would have sort of maybe not saved. There were particularly a pair of ceramic figurines, like one, I think it was a cat and a dog, with very peering eyes that I found fascinating. I'm not sure if I would have put them in my house for anything else but a giggle, but I mean, I remember them, so... I suppose it served a purpose, um, but yeah, we we had a really great time. Not a lot of art doing or art making, but a lot of talking and uh, just really enjoyed myself. I even managed, of course, <laughs> uh, to go to Scotland and get sunburned. Yes, uh, and then her neighbour she was like, "Well, you you need to wear sunscreen," and I was like, "I was." Yep, leave it to the Swedish person to get sunburned in Scotland. So, anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, we had a really great time and it was really nice. So, I'm really happy I did the trip, it was amazing. And now, uh, I just want to go again and I want to, um, want for them to come here and show them. I was going to say show them all our stuff, but I've been trying to make a list now. Like, we don't really have a lot of fun things, but I think I can make them fun. I'm pretty funny, so. <laughs> Speaking of that, um, I suppose, I also have started Duolingo again, so I'm doing French every day. Um, uh, I I did Duolingo, like, every day for, I don't know, like, three years. Um, which felt like, so... Now I'm like, okay, I'm going to take it up again because um, when I was working before, I was like, I, I can't do it, it's like too much. So I put that away and now I took it back up and it feels really great. <laughs> I did it uh, this morning with my breakfast like I did before and I was like, yeah, it brings me back. <laughs> so it feels really great um, to take it up again. I have a few things to sort of work up to get them all gold again but it feels really good and um i think that is all yeah uh i'm going to see what i'm going to paint and um i'll uh, meet you in the studio
So Fridays are try to do like my clean up office maintenance sort of day. And as you can see in the studio, there's a few things to tackle here. I also try to water my plants. Friday, this one I grew quite a lot when I was in Scotland, so it obviously appreciated me being gone, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> also here is I photographed stuff yesterday and I like to leave it until I have edited the photos, which I did yesterday, so I can actually clear off this today. Uh, and then you can just, t I mean, this is actually not too bad, but you know, I just like to clear things up. So, changing the battery in the camera apparently, <laughs> and then we'll get started. everything on my desk and the workshop and I was sweeped and uh, emptied <laughs> emptied Albert's uh, blanket of stuff that he likes to bring in mainly um, I'm not going to say the word but you know stuff from trees long and narrow that you can chew on and then leave stuff everywhere. I think you know what I'm getting with that. He's currently just beside me and there's no way I'm saying that word because he will wake up and no. Okay. But we've had a little bit of an issue because I was like, okay, I'm done here. I'm going to move into the studio because the studio is always like, I like to do that last because I will always get distracted in there. It's like, I mean, I get fairly distracted here too, but it's like, I want to organize more, you know, uh, but in there it's like, oh, this random pen, why is this random pen laying here? Is it because it doesn't work? Should I test it on pen? Oh, maybe, ah, this did work. It should go in here. I wonder if all of these pens test. Oh, I, I really like this green. I really should paint a leaf, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, however, yesterday, I, um, uh, I placed an order uh, it was yesterday? Really? Oh my god, yeah. Yesterday morning I placed an order at a, um, a Swedish craft store. And um, I just got a text saying I can pick it up in town. And I kind of want to do that right now. Like, because, really, you know, because uh, it's much better if I go in now because there's no traffic at this time. It's before lunch. Um, and then I can pick it up and then I can use the stuff all throughout the weekend. Because usually you can, like, identify yourself at home and then just send the official link to somebody else. But I can't do that because it's, like, the business who ordered it, not me. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah. No, I'm just going to do it. For a notable entertainment figure of the 30s and 40s, we have look at Fred Astaire. He spent his career as a pattern of dance routines in top hat and tails, and also acquired relaxed elements elsewhere, even in the So it is as clean as it's going to get right now. My sister, she stole my vacuum cleaner. Um, but uh, I mean, I sweeped and threw away stuff. This one, I'm very tired. <laughs> but, but I think it's time to show you what's actually inside here. I have opened it just to put stuff in it, but I'm going to show you what I'm really excited about. And once you see it, you're like, really, Julia, maybe? Yeah, okay, so I'm going to put you, where do I want to put you? I want to put you here. You can see the name of the, the shop, so if you're in Sweden, I highly recommend them. I picked these up in the grocery store. I'm trying to do like a sugar detox. I mean, I really know I should not be eating sugar, you know, for the pain. But anyway, I'm really going to make an effort now. So... I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to bribe myself. That's a tactic that usually works. Oh, and I also got this. This is, uh, it was fun when I first ordered it. But when I opened the first one, it was completely broken. So, let's see. I got a foil quill. Um, but the first, it looks intact. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, I uh, got this one like Monday or Tuesday, but it was like, it was just chopped right off, which made me very sad. But now I have, so I can try that out. Yep, I ordered two things, two expensive things. Like, oh, so expensive. But, so the first thing, we have the pan pastels. And this one is like the, uh, like the pastel. <laughs> The pastel versions, but these, I thought it would be, I've been wanting to try them, but they are so bloody expensive, these ones. So I'm like, oh, I don't know, but then I was like, if I'm going to start, I was looking at the different colours, I was like, I'm most likely going to use these sort of pastel tones, so I feel more comfortable getting like this set, and it has some tools in it, so I'm like, okay, I'm going to give it a try. And, uh, but yeah, they have a really big range of, of pan pastel, so. But this is the thing. I've been looking at these for quite some time and um, I'm really excited. <laughs> they look so nice. Like this is my first proper Karen Dash thing ever. I think I've had like a pencil from them like in a scroller box or something but this is okay Swiss made and I also know that you should you should cut so we have some light fastness keep away from sun and heat nice that red is beautiful. Okay, first thing. Um, I just... 
they don't smell like crayons. <laughs> I mean, I suppose obviously because we have some oh really fun uh, clear stickers with white outlines. I don't know if you can tell. Like with the uh, different ones. Oh, I bet it is so that you can do this. My fingers were not clean. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I get it, I get it. And let's do this swatching. Actually, what I want to do here, I'm just going to fill half of it with uh, black, just so I can... Uh, <laughs> half is about what my pen could manage, okay. We're going in the trash, my friend. This zebra pen has served me so well. Hi, I just want to pop in and give you a very friendly reminder that if you like the video, please hit thumbs up and just subscribe if you want to see more of the uh, studio vlogs. <laughs> I'm starting to get into a really nice routine where I sort of get up at sort of the same time every morning and then I do all my morning stuff you know like getting dressed and sometimes I put on a face I feed Albert sometimes if he's doing good <laughs> um, have breakfast I do my Duolingo courses yeah Feels really good. By the way, if you're interested, <laughs> I'm doing two Duolingo courses because I was like, I'm going to pick it up again. I'm going to start preserve my French, and then the other day my aunt was here and she was. I was uh, talking about her my trip to Scotland, and I was like, it's amazing, and that I I just want to travel more now because I haven't really travelled anything. And she was like, well, where do you want to go? And I was like, I want to go to Amsterdam. And she was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> because um, I had, I've been talking a lot about Amsterdam. And uh, I mean, you can find prints in my shop of Amsterdam. And <laughs> uh, I know for one year, I think she got a little bit sick of me talking about it because she actually gave me like a travel book for Amsterdam. Um, well, I mean, the whole of Netherlands, like the whole of it, I would like to visit. But especially like like the museums in Amsterdam. I have my heart set on visiting two of them, like they're on my top of my list. And she was like, well, I would really like to go. And I was like, can we go together? So we actually started planning a trip for July, hopefully. Uh, we haven't booked anything yet. I feel like it's a little bit too early, but it would be really fun. And we were thinking just like four or five days going over, see some museums. She was very clear that she's put a limit on two. Fair enough. I have also started where, I, well, I did actually do uh, Netherlands or Dutch uh, on Duolingo a few years ago, but that was like, oh, it was 
that was four years ago. Four years ago I took, I also did a uh, Dutch on Duolingo. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to, you know, continue where I, where I stopped. Turns out I remember nothing. So I'm starting fresh on that, but it feels really good. Um, the pronunciation is harder, but like actually the words are fairly close to, it feels like it is a little bit of a mix between English, German and Swedish, sort of. So yeah, it goes pretty well. Um, and the French is, I, I just started over uh, again. I remember quite a lot of it, but you know, I feel like it's good to start over. Anyway, so I feel like even though I haven't actually started my day yet, I still feel like I have accomplished something. I have hopefully learned something new in my languages that I'm trying to teach myself. And I have like, even if I haven't actually learned something new, I have at least maintained what I have learned before. So I feel like that's that's an accomplishment. And uh, like I said, the day is, uh, day is young. I don't know what Albert was supposed to do, but anyway. So I'm just looking what I have in my basket I keep carrying with me. I have my sketchbook. It's starting to look a little bit puffy. And I'm carrying these with me. I got the Karen Dash Neo Color ones. Like, they don't even look like I have touched them, and I've used them so much these past days, uh, or week, I should say. I just, I just love them. Um, and, like, there is, like, I'm going to see if I can find one that I've used, like, the most. That is nothing. These will last forever, hopefully. Anyway, I love them. I love them so much. Um, I was a little bit like, very expensive for crayons. But I just love them, and I, for now, I keep them in my in my little basket that I keep using back and forth. And uh, I use them in the studio when I'm doing stuff like that, and then I pack them in, <laughs> and I have them in a basket. And when I'm watching TV or something, I just sit and I doodle with them, and I just love them so much. Um, I don't know if I have anything. This is like my my ugly sketchbook, but I did some flowers. And on this one, you can see it's smudged a little bit. I tried to seal it uh, with something and that didn't work. But I realized that that <laughs> sealing stuff actually um, sort of worked as water for a water soluble something. So I can use that to actually blend them. So it had a complete opposite effect, but it still has an effect and I'm going to try to remember that when I'm doing but just like doodling um, and that's what this book is sort of about jotting down ideas uh, sketching nothing precious just having something with me so that I can just feel like I don't need to be precious about it because I love having pretty sketchbooks but I really love having <laughs> like it's not even ugly but just one that I'm not um, thinking like when I flip through it if it's the pages just look like crap I'm not upset about it and I just have fun and I feel like I can try out pretty much everything in this it is an art creation by Royal Talons uh, sort of an A5 landscape and the paper is surprisingly really good so I'm coming to the end of it so I'm actually considering getting um, Either like uh, this square, tiny, tiny one, or the big A4 one, which is, but I don't know. Uh, but I think I, I just really like how unprecious I am with it, and also like how good it is. So, and the color is really fun too. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that was a lot of chattering. I'm looking at my board, and I see that. The, uh, the color that I need to make right now, it is called Dirty Purple. Doesn't that look very attractive as a color name? I, I, I was talking to Jem when I was over there and I was like, I'm really good at naming my colors. Like I know what it is like very descriptive, but I can't use those names when I'm actually selling them because I cannot have a color that is called Dirty Purple because people will like 
I don't want to buy a dirty purple, but it looks like a dirty purple and I love it. So it's uh, a paint that takes quite a long time to make. So I'm going to put this on and I'm also going to, oh, I found my speaker. I went on and on about it. I could not find my speaker. I found my speaker in my tech drawer right here. I have like a little drawer with all the miscellaneous cables, the microphone I use when I do voiceover, my headphones. It was um, in that drawer because I had been charging it. Is that reasonable? Yeah, kind of. Did I look for you there? No. <laughs> anyway, I did find it. So I'm going to put on an audiobook or something. We need water bottle. I also need to put this on. Thank you so very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I um, I did enjoy. <laughs> I was going to say um, that I didn't enjoy making it, but I did enjoy making it. It just took a really long time, and I think I was a lot more <laughs> in need of a break than I actually realized. Since coming back from Scotland, I um, I've had a little bit of a struggle to come back into routine and uh, I, I decided to sort of prioritize the filming and editing of vlogs further, further down the list but as you can see here it is so obviously it has risen to the top right now and uh, I feel like I'm sort of back. I also feel that um, I'm starting to get into the rhythm again uh, and as I say that <laughs> we are just on the on the cusp we just like on the cusp of summer which um, is it, typically in Sweden it's June July and August um, mostly June and July it is like the peak summer month and it's sort of like so yeah we are going into to peak summer right now and it's sort of like all rules are off um, obviously people still like live as law-abiding citizens here but it's sort of like you just you it's much more 
carpe diem, more seize the day, uh, and people get a little bit like spring feverish, uh, which is kind of nice, but it also means that uh, routine is sort of thrown out the window um, and you just enjoy because living up here in Sweden, it is a lot of darkness and a lot of bad weather <laughs> and a lot of cold. Um, we have a very long and bleak winter up here and so sort of when June and July uh, and August too obviously when that hits it's sort of like it's our our three months out of the year when we can actually just live so yeah I mean we, like I said we, it's not crazy we're still Swedish people so it's not like mm, but so the update for the shop that is next week is going to be celebrating all of that Swedish Scandinavian summer with new stickers, with postcards, with new colours and colour palettes and washi tapes and it's all uh, a big celebration and a big like just massive um, honouring the Swedish nature that is just continually inspiring me so yeah I hope you will check it out uh, I'm really proud of it I'm very happy with it and I have used it quite a lot already so yeah I hope you will enjoy it the link is down below if you want to sign up for the newsletter so you will know what's coming and sort of my my thoughts behind it the secrets of it um, so yeah thank you so much I hope to see you next week and um, yeah, next week is also shop update and a new month. So yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs>